Another tool for the toolbox is going to start here. I snuck across this on the switchbacks. And what I'm going to do is just gentle free motion, back and forth, straight lines, uh, with an occasional cube in the thin line. It's not going to be a cube. It's going to be almost like a um, modern square that I will travel through. So just so you, I'm going to show you this, and then we'll go to the next tool in the toolbox. I'm going to turn the corner on this one. Oh, I want to switch directions now. You can build on this uh, square for an entire quilt, making what looks more like a circuit board pattern. And since this is such a small area, we're going to keep it simple. In fact, I want to make that a little bit bigger. I don't want to come down too far because we want room to be able to go across the quilt and travel. I'm going to do something um, in this area here. Um, this will be chapter one, plumb lines. So uh, the big thing with um, plumb lines is that you're quilting between two spaces. And then um, Angela likes to stitch in the ditch to emphasize what's going on in the section that you're quilting. I'm going to use one of the first tools in the toolbox, which is a swirl. And then we will travel around and then make decisions on what we want to do on the inner squares. Just swirling around about one turn inside. On a bigger space, you could make more turns in the swirl. Like here, it's bigger. So I need to adjust the size of my swirl. Now I'm about out of space on my throat. So I'm gonna come here. Now I'm gonna free motion a plumb line on this without a ruler. I'm gonna go for it. The thread's a good match. We'll eyeball it. I'm feeling ambitious. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more swirls and wind up in here. Now, the one thing you're going to find when you do free motion lines, this isn't perfect. I have a wobble here when I took a step across. The biggest thing that's emphasized in the chapter is that this is free motion, not computer guided, and it does have its own character of imperfection. <laughs> what I want to do in this middle section is I want to quilt through here and end back out at the beginning, and I'm going to have to roll the quilt up to finish the square. But um, And then I'm, what I'm going to do is end over here. Then I'm going to quilt other the rest of the row, and then I'm roll it up. I'm going to have to finish this section. My throat space isn't long enough for an entire square, just like most domestic machines are not. And I have to work in a row versus square by square. I'm going to do two types of true ribbon candy that I've developed in um, long arming. One is a ribbon candy where it's similar to switchbacks, but you make more of a figure eight with the figure eights touching. And then in the larger spot, it's going to be figure eights overlapping with a little bit of a loopier system. So here we go. Very similar to switchbacks, but just a little more on a fatter end. You do your best to stay in the tiny spaces. There's 
way easier when you're in a big space. Ribbon candy one. We're going to do ribbon candy two, which is a overlapping in this larger area of the figure eight pieces. And see how I'm overlapping those eights to give it a more loopy feel. And since that corner is big, you make it up as you go along. I'm going to turn this corner differently, make it a little more funky. And now when I get to the center, I am going to try something different. In the center, I want to do a couple of straight lines with my channel lock. And then I'm going to sneak out doing the same stitches that I did here and end out on the border so I could end this session and get ready for work. Here we go. Channel lock is on for a straight line, so I shouldn't wobble. Um, going left to right is simple on a long arm. It's going vertical. That's not so easy. Simple. And I wanted them a little, they're going to be a little funky because this is not straight. And as long as we keep going in this direction, having the lines go every which way is exactly the aesthetic. Now I'm going to take the channel lock off the wheel. It's just a simple circle with these rubber stops. And now I'm going to sneak my way back out. So we got to do a big ribbon candy. A little ribbon candy swirls are this is the end of my throat space I just followed around and I'm going to do this funky square and then a switch back and we're gonna call that a day now when you look at this you know if it bothers you the sneaking in and out may not be best for you but in the overall aesthetic of this quilt sneaking in and out really works for me because I don't like to bury threads and I like to keep it continuous but already can you see the texture we have started here with all these different elements now this is a sampler quilt so it will have a sampler of stitches designed to walk us through the blog hop of the ultimate machine quilting guide by Angela Walters and Krista Watson have a good day everyone